What am I gonna do about this? I don't really know what that word really means, except that things mean court cases, and that's serious. My mom watches a lot of them, so if you mean court cases, one of the two things is gonna happen. You're gonna go to jail, or you're gonna get whacked, because you opened your mouth and they're exposing you after the cops. I am 13 years old. That is far too young to know anything about anything as far as the COVID is concerned. But I'm supposed to get my testimony. This is what happens when you, when you sign up for senior social classes. You learn about all 11 doctors and read articles about war, and then you give your testimony. I can just see the chorus sergeant major looking over his glasses with those beady little eyes, watching every word, going to the old Bible with his red felt tip pen, marking the verses I pulled wrong. My mom says it's not that big of a deal. I'm just supposed to write down what God has done in my life and then read it to everybody. We'd be better off watching concrete dry or grass grow. I am boring. It's not like I'm some modern day Moses or Abraham with some huge job to do or important place to live. <coughs> I've never had a dream where anybody wrote on the wall or something. I'm certainly no David or Daniel. Nobody ever sang a song that goes, Dare to be Caleb George. I don't know what to do about this. Last year I had to pray in church and now this? You know what it sounds like to me? Awesome practice. Like, Maybe they're running out or scouting for replacements or something. Maybe the officer is going on strike soon, and us almost senior soldiers are going to take over everything. That could be fun, but I really got to put this here. What if I don't have a good testimony? Well, I was born 13 years ago in a hospital. I drew a shower tsunami at the age of seven, when I started attending Sunday school. And I came ever since, sometimes twice. And that's about it. That looks good, except for the fact that even the people with broken hearing aids are probably asleep by now. I don't know what to do about this. We can always try the random Bible or something. I think that's how they pick the scripture on your Sundays anyway. Judges 1 7. Then Adonai Bezik said, Seventy kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off have picked up straps under my table. Now God has been there for what I did to them? Okay, maybe none of this. Z 1 Ah, here. With more syllables for the verse. Meaningless. Meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. Next. Okay, maybe another verse. Hosea 1 2. When the Lord began to speak to Hosea, the Lord said to him, Go take yourself an adulterous wife and children of unfaithfulness, because the land, the land is guilty of the vilest adultery and departing from the Lord. Whoa, meant no. Sounds better than law and order. Let's try another verse, because like the others, I don't know what I'll do. This looks good. I think this one might work. 1 Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Testimony to focus on the war in the past. So let's talk about my future. 